I think MVP in recent memory have probably been a little bit better than Tyloo, but I think there's just always that international competition stage that MVP need to prove themselves at a little yeah. bit better, that they haven't reached the heights that Tyloo have. Fast one onto the A bomb sites, a smoke over towards connector, some flashes over the top, full retake here for MVP. They don't want to mess with this uh, A take here. Tyloo, they're going to grab control of the jungle. Bomb plant goes down towards triple. Out in the open, Zeft's actually copping a little bit of shots there, but Zeft's trying to shoot at him through a smoke, so he's not too worried. Good control taken, though, by Tyloo. Some are going to be locking down the murder hole. Got a player in window there as well. Main is being covered off as well by Bentet. Five-man retake out of CT here. Wow. Stack starts it off. Well, that is a shot that you want to be hitting. Excurate doesn't have much more of an opportunity. And Zine gets both Excurate and then somebody. But Ben Tet and Summer, well, from the other angle, are causing havoc for MVP right now. There's nothing that HSK is going to be able to do. It looks so good for MVP. And then all of a sudden, the crossfire finally comes into effect for the CT side. And that's round over. Tyloo start off again with another pistol round. Raids back and forth, but then running into Bented in a post plant. Scary prospect indeed. Full save here from MVP. They want to buy up into the next one, which is a little bit more viable on Mirage than some other maps. Tyloo. Already off to a good start. Now starting to make their way out middle and looking to clean up this anti eco fairly straightforwardly. Push in towards A main from MVP and a stack in towards this A side of the map that even if they do make some ground on, sum up. Chilling back at the stairs there in T-Spawn, seeing if anybody's going to push that area. That's pretty slow and steady from Tai Lu here. Good stuff from them, just seeing if anyone's going to aggress on middle when they don't. Smoke onto connector, smoke into window, and they're going to do this cat split. So I'd say, in terms of the anti-ecos and how clean this has looked, this is about as good as you would want to expect from Tai Lu. They look very organised, they look all on the same page, even the smoke's going over to the... The B bomb site there. And now a chance for somebody to score a bit of cash. He's got the UMP, so trying to get some kills to build that fund. It's going to be pretty nice indeed. Deciding not to push on in. It's Attacker with the Mac 10 that may well do the, the trick. Zeta and HSK have made it a little expensive for Tyloo. No, nothing to get too concerned about as the second Galil will be retrieved. So all the, the big guns go through. A lot easier to recover from those kind of losses on the T side than the CT. So two guns lost on the T side versus two guns lost on the CT side is a lot less of a sad day. MVP, not a bad little buy that they've scrapped themselves together. Decent utility across the board. No AWP, but decent rifles. See so what the play is going to be. Zion's going to be the man on the A bomb site. Just tucks himself into Sandwich. Zeta and uh, HSK there were just having a bit of a kiss in mid-window, and now they're going to say good luck onwards in this part of the round. Now Kith. Yep. Now Kith. <laughs> tai Lu. They have put a little bit of pressure on B apartments and middle, but now they've started to make this way, their way back towards this B bomb, uh, A bomb site. rather. Zion's going to be the man to deal with, tucked into this sandwich area along with Zeta. He's chilling there with two flashes that could be huge amounts of impact here for MVP if used correctly. You could line up Zion here for a huge multi-frag. Well, speaking of utility, here comes the Tyloo smoke grenades that uh -oh. Molotovs go on through as well. And Zion oh. missed his smoke, but he's still going to manage to salvage it, getting the first kill onto Ben Ted. He's done about as good as you can expect from him. Is it enough, though, as Tyloo starts to storm their way onto the bomb site? They do deal with Zeta. I don't know that Stax is wrapping in on the rotator. Now it's on to somebody. 1v2. He's got his running shoes on. He's Beast saying it. bolting it over to B. Before anyone says anything about the Molotov smoke interaction being broken, Zion very much did throw that smoke at a part of the ground that was not covered in fire. Yeah. Oh, timing missed there from Zeph. Somebody will see him cross back, and he's well aware of this player in towards market. So again, extra information here for somebody that he didn't even necessarily need, but he will get. And what is going to happen here for Zeph? Well, I mean, somebody needs to plan. At least he's going to know someone is close. And oh. doesn't actually plant the bomb. So either way, he was going to lose that round. Even if he does kill Zeph, there's no time to plan after that. Pretty brave for Zeph to just charge him. That very easily could have been a fake. Now we will go straight into a tech. There's uh, 
somebody has disconnected, I believe. At least that's what it looks like. MVP, that's an expensive round. And looking at the circumstances at which it was won, you have to say it's a job well done. I mean, the trades were fairly even for Tyloo. They should have yeah. been in a favourable scenario over there towards the A site. Oh, it was stacks wrapping in that was the nail in the coffin there. It was a good flash from Zeph from Con as well. They didn't have much utility, but what utility they did have on the side of MVP, they put to good use to set up their friends for good opportunities to be able to pick Tyloo. It does say tactical pause, but I'm pretty confident this is a technical pause. There was only four T's hanging around in T-spawn. So they're friendless. There we go. They, uh, have, e they have each other. Four of them have each other. They're lacking a friend. Just missing Summer. Life would be a little more disappointing without Summer, wouldn't it? I don't agree with that, particularly in this country. Okay. I could do without summer, to be honest. Don't love the like thirty plus degree heat myself. Guess you're not a bit a bit of a beach bum then. Not me. Have you seen me? Yeah, <laughs> I have actually. Funnily <laughs> enough, I'm sitting next to you right now. Wow, there you go. Gone are the days of the bedroom casts. Oh god, don't take me back. <laughs> I actually used to cast with no shirt on because it was so hot in summer, and I was in my bedroom. Oh. How have we been deprived of this? But there was obviously no cameras going on <laughs> at that time. <laughs> Luckily for everyone. Oh, and there we go. We've got five players back in. We've got some crouching going on in T-Spawn. Looks like they're ready. They're just getting warmed up, doing some stretches. Now, unfortunately, not going to be stretching the bank account here for Ty Lu. No All money. Right. It's all the bruise. We're not getting straight back into it. Another pause comes out. Just as I was getting excited. Heart rate was, was starting to rise. Was that because I started talking about myself without a shirt on or because of the game? Not sure. Kappa pride. Little of column A, little of column B. You know what? This is my favourite part of uh, Counter-Strike. My favourite part of Asian CS. Like late night. Getting into a good game. Bit of a pause. Couple of memes. Yeah. But now we're straight back into the action. Just get to chat a little bit. And by the action, I mean it's going to be a eco for Tyloo. Hey, that, that could still bit. be action, by the way. It will be action because every single gun that MVP loses is going to take a huge toll on their economy. They don't have any cash to fall back on. If Dust 2's anything to go Cut. by, they're going to be losing these guns for sure. I told you, man. There could be action. Extra with a Deagle. As soon as you see that, you're like, oh, hang on. Summer's also got himself one. And now we're quick up in mid as well. Zyne might shut this down, but Ben 10 has also found Zeta. And will eventually fall to Zyne. The Deagle shot not calibrated onto Zeph's head. I love scary. the reaction for MVP as soon as they lose that pick in window. They just all charge towards middle and they're like, nah, we won't be having any of this. Yeah. Shut it down right now. Uh, Excurit's still alive and he does still have that Deagle. He's making a beeline for the A site. And Zyne's not quite there yet. Attacker's getting himself a good position here, but he can't pick up another gun. That's the problem. With only a Glock, there's no chance. Not against Zeph. And it's on to Excurit, who will go down to Zyne. Crisis averted. I mean, two guns lost. Still pretty sad days for the CTs. Yep, and that was the problem for MVPs on, on Dust 2 as well. It was. Couldn't get their economy stable enough on that CT side, and at critical points when Tyloo was able to come away with these plays, when the money was low for MVP, that was really what got them across the line. In, on multiple occasions, it got them two rounds instead of one. The hard reset on MVP. Holy moly. Okay. That well. is a quick round. Like, we're not even through the replays, and already six players are dead. Stax has got no HP, but he might still win this round for them. Ben Tet is now going to crossfire to deal with. Oh, come on. Oh. Stax has won it. What a absolute chaos round that was. Yep. Two alive for MVP. They're going to drop those guns over. Pause time again. She's going to keep their economy pretty low. Welcome to the Elvish Guy and Peely podcast, gentlemen. What would you like to talk about today? Well, we've talked about the beach. We've talked about me with no shirt on. I mean, what more really is there to talk about at this point? Tiny teddies, Tiny perhaps? teddies. Your snack during the break. Yeah. Cheeky. Cleverly clutched a paintbrush and painted chalk chip spots all over herself. That's the quote from the tiny teddy packet. Okay. 
anyone would think we're sponsored by Tiny Teddies. We're not. I have a phone call to make. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Arnott's. Hello? Yeah. Hit us up. What uh, what kind of cookie would you be if you were a cookie? Um, and you can't say chalk chip because everyone says that. Raisin. Raisin. Anzac. Bitterly disappointing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be bis pretty disappointing. A raisin cookie. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe like ginger spice or something because I'm oh. ginger. What okay. about you, Jordan? Well, I'm, a, I'm partial to milk arrowroots <laughs> and I am a pretty white guy, so... <laughs> I feel like vanilla. that might be the play. <laughs> uh, okay. I think, like, when, when you get older, then you become a scotch finger. Like, when you're a, a young guy, you're a white young guy, you're, but if you're, you're a But if you're, like, one of those saucy old people, you're, like, a chocolate cup bottomed. Yeah. Oh, what are those ones with, like, the red <laughs> filling? Red velvet? I don't know. Yeah, that might be it. I don't know. That could be, like, if you're, like, a spicy dude. Don't know if I'm one of those. Anyway, we're back into the game, so that's spicy. Tyloo have got a, another deagle bite, so it's definitely dangerous. MVP have another low amount of money. So they need to maintain as many guns. It's not easy, although the bomb has gone flying into the middle of the bomb site. They're in much less aggressive positions this time around and much much better set up to deal with this. So how do they still manage to lose the orb? Well, if you throw enough bodies at the orb, eventually you're going to overwhelm it. Only one loss, though. So much better stuff for MVP. That's going to be their money starting to go in the upward direction. And that's the good direction. See if Ty Lu could go in the upward direction in the round count. They're going to get the AWP on X here, but it's a glass cannon. So what their approach is going to be in this round. There's been a lot of emphasis towards middle so far from Ty Lu and the A bomb site. They haven't really put much pressure on the B apartments as somebody usually does on the T side of Mirage, which could potentially set them up with a opportunity to execute later in the round. You do see him doing it in this round in particular. Number six on the radar. Somebody's throwing the smoke on the windows and some flashes towards there which has kept these two MVP rotators in that part of the map. The rest of Tyloo, they're going for this mid control. Somebody's going to join them. Molotov on the bricks. Bentet's going to flash off that cat angle. Sion's got himself deep in the A ramp which is going to mean that MVP should be very well aware at this point that Tyloo are heavily in mid. There yeah. can be nowhere else they can be. Summer could still be the spanner in the works as he was on Dust 2. Look at this, MVP playing pretty heavily around that. Doubling up CT, the peak into connector is going to give Zeta a one frag. Nice tag onto attacker as well. They do get HSK though, so it's at least a trade here for Tyloo. Now the difference is MVP with that player in towards T Sport and oh. Zeta. It's a crisp shot with the USP. Zion also getting Summer. It's a 2v4. I mean, obviously still winnable for Tyloo if they hit some pretty fancy shots indeed, but unfortunately, fancy Summer is not alive. So it's on to Ben Ted and somebody. And somebody might have the chance there, but can't take advantage of it. Zeta will shut him down. Ben Ted, we've seen some crazy stuff from him in the past. The time is actually running out here for MVP, so this might well be winnable. Ben Ted, can he do it? Just needs the headshot onto Stacks. He gets off the bomb. They've got it just in time. Oh, that's a clencher, but MVP, half a second to go. Zeta, he opens up the round and shuts the door as well. Multiple frags for the man playing retake on the A-bomb site from Ticket, and he just gets that last second defuse. But Bentet can never count this fan well, out. Well, at the very least, what Tyler is doing is keeping MVP honest. That money is still really low, having won, what, five rounds in a row now? Yep, and Tyler with the bomb plant and the loss bonus together will buy into this one. So the pressure never really lets up for MVP, unless they can win one cleanly here, and again, Pressure on the B apartments from somebody. This time, just a couple of bullets. No utility expended. The rest of Tyloo grouping in towards this middle area. Double off out for MVP now, though. Is Where are these AWPs? One's at apartments one's at ticket. one on A. Yeah, one's at the B apartments. Haven't seen much of Stacks on the secondary orb. He has been pretty fantastic for this MVP roster on it. Now, Tyloo again. They're getting this connector control very consistently. Feels like MVP, they're quite comfortable playing out the round when Tyloo have it. Yeah. They're just letting them have it. They're going to play around that. 
Well, you saw how easily Zeta was able to open the round up for MVP, even despite the fact that Tyloo had connected to control. And again, he's just watching that line. Smoke will fade, and Zeta misses a couple of shots, but HSK just playing in the corner on jungle. It's going to cause enough of a distraction that Zion, HSK, oh. and Zeta all cleaning kills up for themselves. Another one from Stacks, and that is the round over. That's MVP. a clean round win. Is CT side here on Mirage really starting to get going? Four alive for MVP. You can't catch Zion off guard towards that A ramp or palace area. The man is so consistently getting those frags. And with how much pressure he's taking away from Zeta, because he's having so much success in that part of the map, Zeta can just freely peek from ticket and triple and shut down this connector control that Tyloo has gathered. And HSK, you do see him having a bit of a lackluster performance. Reason being is because Tyloo is putting so much pressure on the man. He is literally the lone person MVP is leaving in this middle area. Every time he's having multiple terrorists running at him, and all he has to do is just make sure he doesn't get picked and he's relaying the information to his teammates and allowing someone like Zeta, who's in a key position with the AWP, to clean up. Yep. So job well done from the man. Still not around here that MVP could really rest on their laurels. Their money's starting to look better, but it hasn't gotten to the point where you're like, okay, we can lose two or three kills and still not be too concerned. Somebody is actually going to find HSK there, so that's one already. Now he has an AUG as well. If there's anybody you don't want in a key position like Jungle, who could undo everything, it's somebody, but he goes hyper aggro straight through the murder hole after he dodges that shot from Stax. Uh, can you really be surprised? x here has a great chance on Design, who has actually spotted him, so chance gone begging. Well, on Bentet, one more Deagle headshot will make this a little bit more expensive for MVP, but all things considered, they're on a pretty good streak here. He has a chance of actually getting one. Sign uh, okay. had really had any idea where he was coming from and was checking out main. Now he's got an AUG. Uh, can he even get a bomb down here, maybe? Or if he got that kill on the short, he certainly could have. Zeph is posted up, though. He's going to wag his finger mm. disapprovingly. As the oldest player in the server, he's allowed to do that. Yep. Basically, the closest thing to a CS I love this. that MVP like has. slides out, like, yo! And then Stax is like, no thanks. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, it's like when someone rocks up at your door trying to sell you something. <laughs> no, thanks, hey, man, want to buy my art? Get, get out of the murder hole. Get back in there. Nope. Get out of my door. Don't stick your foot in. Then up. Trying to get aggressive. Pick this player in Palace. Ventet's not having it. We're in other parts of the map, Stax is actually getting a lot of B apartments control. Just going to give MVP a fair bit of info, I would say, Jordan. Yeah, but still they have the three players on B, so if Tyloo strike now, it's actually a weakened... Defense on A. Yeah, they're taking their time. Another smoke yeah. on A main. I don't imagine Tyloo's going to be going too quickly. Oh. Smoke into the window from the A side of the map is going to keep MVP guessing because they didn't see the trajectory of that nade, so they can't make the call out. HSK is just going to say, hey, smoke in mid window. Probably pressure on connector as Tyloo have been doing time and time again. But here comes that execute. Zion again in sandwich. Will he be mollied out of position? I uh, don't know. There's only a couple Jack of Molotovs here for Tyloo. Yep, there you go. Is and indeed, Zion is burning alive. Goes down to that, but was helped out by Summer. Zion, though, not the problem for Tyloo. So the rest of the CTs on that bomb site. Somebody at least gets one more. But still a numbers disadvantage for Tyloo. They'll make their way back into T spawn. It's a long rotate for them. It's going to continue to try and apply pressure and find a key pick, which might set somebody up for the late round. Somebody oh. decides not to go back to B, and Zeph would have been well ready for him in underpass. Instead, he's going to go back towards Palace Stacks. Definitely spotted Excurit there with the jump spot. He drops onto the bomb site. So he's going to go down, which should allow the bomb plant out here. So, anything possible now for Tai Lu. Excurit's not the player you want to be facing in a post plant like this, but Zeph is on the flank. He could be the key for MVP here. Still a fairly long rotate for him though, so it's going to take him some time to get there, making a bit of noise now, and already the kill's coming across for somebody, but Excurit's got no idea. Zeph hasn't been loud enough, and that'll be a clean round in the end for MVP. Two players alive. And the double orb persists. Tyloo cannot get anything going here on Mirage. Definitely can't. MVP has had their number on Mirage in the last couple of games, and again, it's looking fantastic for the Korean lads. The Korean lads. 
Is that what they are now? Yep. That's it. Everyone's a lad. Not many females in the counter strikings. Yeah. Tactical pause. Talu is saying, hello, we need to get rounds on the board. Things are not going well. Yeah, okay. Two Look at yourselves in the mirror, guys. <laughs> Play better. <laughs> All right. It's still not unsalvageable, right? Yeah. First half, we're sort of, what, eight and two now? Which I think is, they need five, though. Yeah, you want to get to five. You probably want to get to six, really, from a position like this to be pretty happy with the first half on the T side. But that's uh, definitely a bit of a task at this point for Tyloo. Yes. Middle control. Straight into things. Not towards the B bomb site. HSK just slams attacker. Eventually he swam through that top mid smoke enough times. He will get somebody at some point. Well, he got attacker, not somebody. Haha. Uh -huh. Good joke. Thank Haven't you. heard that one before. Oh. Four on five from Someone's Tyloo. <laughs> Listen, Dad, I'm sick of you, okay? <laughs> going to be passive-aggressive now. <laughs> I'm over it. I want Ty Lu to get some rounds. I'm going through a tough time. Yeah, Ty Lu is. Well, still potential here in this 4-on-5. Plenty of heavy hitters alive for Ty Lu. Smoking towards the window will help these players get up under bars and potentially even boost into the window area. And Summer is going to combine with x over here towards... A... While Ty lose smoke into window and connector, and let's see what they make of it. Two of them walk into con now. It's going to be an A split. Zion's got to have success over here towards A ramp to allow Zeta to continue to wreak havoc on this connector area. The rest of MVP is miles away, all wow. stacked towards B. Timing is going to be key here for Execute if he does get Zion. It really opens it up. Ben 10 has dropped, but there's still another player coming from Connector. Tyloo with 28 seconds need to make something happen. They probably do get the bomb down here. Oh, I lied. Zeph's spotted out. Excurit time starting to run out now with 17 seconds. Summer and somebody are just trying to make anything happen. But Zeph, how did he even spot that bomb plant? I thought he was being covered off by the guy in connector, but apparently not. And uh, another one up on the board for MVP. So I was saying the Magic 9-6 is what Tyloo really wants to get at. They have money to buy in this round. And a, again, just this connector play and A is just not an option. In Zion, he does his job. He doesn't even get a kill there, but he does his job because he just creates enough space for Zeta to yep. get a frag and fall away into CT, and they have the man advantage at that point after HSK gets the first kill in the round. And from that retake uh, situation, I mean, you talk about Zeph, who hasn't got many kills, but almost every single one of those kills are Zeph going from Catwalk and just shooting people on the cross in the late round of day. Yep. They're critical frags. There it is. Look, I, again, not much you can do about that. But, but Ty Lu, what they can do is, let's face it, it's been the same approach the whole half. Yeah. Mid control, connector, and A, and they're getting shut down, and they're refusing to adapt. I haven't seen much toward B from Ty Lu. No. And usually that's a mainstay for them. Usually... Somebody's applying pressure with the utility in that part of the map, and then they go and execute B. Haven't seen it once. And MVP's been ready for it a lot of the time, but mm. even just Zion and, and Zeta on A is enough to win them the round. And again, it's going to be Zion and Zeta on A up against this execute. Let's see if Ty Lu have learnt something different that's going to allow them to do a little bit better this time. They are just waiting out the utility, but no, nope, they're Ooh. not going to wait for this smoke in Palace. Well, here we go again. Bit of a sense of deja vu. It's like that CJ meme. And I think maybe we're going to see the same result. Tyloo, a one for one on the entry. This is starting to actually look a bit better. Summer's gotten another. Difference yeah. here is that Zion doesn't create enough space that time. They get very close to Zeta and, and trade him out. And now it's an, a man advantage for Tyloo. They put the bomb you down. Lie. Not a man advantage anymore. Stacks getting Summer. Bomb at least goes down. So there is that for Tyloo. But if they don't win here. I'm really starting to question how Mirage is going to end up, and Tyloo, I'm sure, will be doing much the same. Stacks and Zeph with an opportunity. Oh, that looked damn close. Zeph. Oh, Whoa, stacks. stacks. What? MVP, they are super warmed up. They're just Mirage. hitting everything. Like, they, looked like, they looked a little bit sloppy on Dust, too, okay? Yeah. They weren't really warmed into it. it. Hasn't been the case on Mirage. These guys are straight back into the swing of things. 
and it looks bloody scary. Yeah. And you have to say, okay, in a series like this, MVP's been winning recently, right? You look at the last map where, let's face it, MVP, that was a sloppy performance, right? And even after that sloppy performance, Talu only barely scraped a win together over the line, and now you're looking at a 10-2 to scoreline. This looks like MVP are in complete control of this series. Got another tactical pause, Pilly. And the little pearler of wisdom I've been given by production is that all three of these tactical pauses in the last three rounds have been from Tyloo. So they're talking about something. But what they're talking about is not winning them rounds. I mean, i got to say it again. That round was the best opportunity that they had because the difference was, right... They kill Zion very early on, and they get close enough to Zeta on that triple box and trade him out quickly, and they still can't win the round. The retake's still too strong there. So now, again, it's the same thing from Tyloo. Back into this 1-3-1, some pressure on with utility on the apartments from somebody, and he's going to walk back down towards underpass from Ventet. Again, early smokes in the round towards middle. Now smoke into the window, and they're going to go back towards connector. Oh. This time, though, that's the difference. Zion takes a bit of a risk. Yeah. Goes and walks through Tink Spawn and gets punished for it by Excurit. It's a quicker move back towards that A-bomb site, and it was always going to be so from Tyloo, even if they didn't have that man advantage. So now it's HSK on this wow. A-bomb site. Zed is nowhere near. He's trying to rotate up towards Ticket as Tyloo's getting in prime position to make their way onto this A-site. So HSK's got to be the difference maker from this uh, firebox or ninja position. But you've got to convert this one as Tyloo, and it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to. Zeta and HSK do open up. Zeta under pressure here. Finally gets spammed through that box enough to actually fall. So maybe I speak too soon. Maybe it's not over just yet, but Stax may well be the one to finish it off. That's a good shot. Play it with the bomb. And the Summer, looking in the other direction, gets caught. Somebody's got 8 HP. How can you not convert this round, Tyloo, if you're going to win this map? If you have a chance, Whoa. they needed to. He actually dinked Zeph, I'm pretty sure. I'm 99% sure there was at least one headshot in that, but when you're shooting through the wood and the yeah. cement material, just not enough damage to finish off Zeph, and all Zeph had to do was just react and connect one shot, and that's exactly what he does, yeah. and I 100% agree with you there, Jordan. Huge advantage coming away with that one. Uh... For MVP, despite Tyloo picking up Zion. Sorry, had a bit of a brain blank there. Tyloo had a huge advantage, but they couldn't get the round still. Now, they're going to try to go back B. towards B for the first time. It's too late now, though. Even if you win these two rounds, 11 to 4 the first half on Mirage, it's, well, it's not unprecedented, but. All right, this is looking pretty good. Somebody has started off nicely, but Stacks, like, how does he even get two there? I'm so confused. He's a god. He's 15 for 3 right now. He's dancing around in the smoke. Oh, his head's peeking up. Attacker doesn't see it, though. Hasn't been playing enough whack-a-mole. And he also gets excrete. Stax might even be oh. on for the ace here. He's going to pick up another org. Why not? HSK will steal it from him, but damn, what a play from Stax. 12-2. That man's on fire right now. 17 and 3. He's not even at the bomb site where tyloo has been attacking. Yep. The man's like the B anchor. He's rotating and closing out every post plant towards A. Yeah. Tyloo's literally been towards mid and A every single round, and Stax is 17 for three as the B anchor. That's actually huge. Please explain. I would love to go back I, and just watch his game POV. I would love to hear all the players who cry about being the anchor players at B on Mirage. Oh, I can't rotate in and get any kills. That's why my score's bad. Look at Stax, mate. That's the shot fired at Ian. <laughs> Probably not watching, but I'm going to tell him about that. All right. Execute on the A-bomb side, but it's just a fake to create space for these B players to take advantage of the rotation. Steph is going to bite, makes his way back through market, but look, mate, still got to beat Stax. Still a one-on-two on, on the bomb site for Stax. He's uh, seen the player crossing. Now knows that there's danger Ooh. Okay. on its way. Somebody survives on 2 HP. But we've seen MVP be able to convert rounds that have been a player deficit for them. 
Once again, we're back to a 4v4. Somebody really is hanging on for dear life, so I'm not so sure you can count him as a whole player alive. And Zeph opens it up. HSK, a little bit scary for him there, but he does finish it off. An attacker's position now is known, so he'll be spammed through the smoke. And it's just on to Bentet with the Deagle. He can't even get an angle onto the bomb defuse. That is going to be the round over, an MVP. Oh. Going to finish it off 13-2. Sure, he gets the collateral, but Pilly, it doesn't matter. The least impactful double headshot Deagle we've ever seen. An MVP just too solid on those retakes. Rock solid on the CT side of Mirage. 12 and 3 for them. All right, time for us to take a quick break, guys. But this is definitely a different looking situation than what we were heading into halftime on Dust. We'll see how it turns out after this. You thought we were getting into the second half of that game. Well, you're wrong. You get to watch us for a little bit. Bad luck. Maybe good luck. I don't know. Depends on what you think of our beautiful appearances. But, uh, okay, right. What we want to talk about, obviously, is that game. And MVP, they've totally turned it around from Dust 2. It was a very close game there on Dust 2. And now it's like, what, 13-2 in the first 12, half three. or 12-3? Who cares? It doesn't really matter <laughs> at that point, I don't think. Numbers, whatever, man. Yeah, like, exactly. As long as one of them gets to 16, whatever. That's right. <laughs> and who cares up until that point? MVP's <laughs> like... I mean, the takeaway is MVP's just smashing 
Tyloo here on Mirage, which is Tyloo's map pick. Okay, yes, we go back historically. MVP recently have beaten Tyloo a couple times on it, but like not not like this. I don't know what to say. I mean, really? it's a kind of a situation where it's like two of the same things in two different contexts, I feel like, for Tyloo. Number one, they just cons consistently kept going to connector and kept going out A when they're getting shut down time and time again. And the same sort of stubborn logic is the map veto, right? Hmm. You've lost Mirage. Okay, the first time you lost Mirage, you go, all right, that's the map we always yeah. pick. Whatever, we'll get them next time. Oh, we lost Mirage again. Oh, okay. So this third time, should we pick Mirage? Of course we pick Mirage. Now we're getting absolutely crushed on it. It's like, when will you sort of next, next not time. be so next stubborn? Time. Next time we'll get them at, at A and, and connector, I promise. Oh, we got shut down by Zeta again. All right, next time. Let's do it again. Run that one again. Again, run right. Mirage again. Let's go B. Oh, wait, Stax is there. For about him. Mm. <laughs> well, that's a, yeah. ooh, ooh, that's a hard one. Yeah, you got to think about, uh, like, when you, when you, I mean, when I look at MVP, right, uh, every single time they've actually made a roster change, I've always been like, oh, I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, and I don't then, know about this Stax guy. And then all of a sudden, they're like, yeah. literally the best player on the team, probably the best player in career at that time. Should and just like, literally be a montage and be like, Stax, who the hell is that? And then you just see him acing Tai Lu like every round. He's the like rotating in for yeah. B, just cleaning them all up on the A pom side. It's like, oh, okay, Zeph, isn't that guy like 30 years old? And you just see a highlight reel of yeah. Zeph on train in SL, just killing everyone, and you're like, Seems good. It was the same thing when like Zion came into the roster. I was like, who's Zion? And then Zion literally is just hard carrying Who's MVP. Zion? Then he just like, that when MVP wasn't even as good as they are now, and they played Tai Lu, and he gets like 100 kills in a best of three, while yep. the rest of his team is like anchoring. And you're like, hmm, yep. seems good. 1.83 to 1.83. Well, that is a swing. Uh, I guess that's about as close as 50-50 as you're going to get. And to be honest, we're probably at that point, right? I mean, right now, it's going to be MVP to finish off map two. I think that much is fair to say. And then we're on to map three. Which is Train, which Tyler actually won over MVP, but I have to say... How do you recover from this? Ty Lu, well, number one, okay, they're getting spanked in this map. There's opportunity for them to recover, but then Train, okay, you beat them MVP on it before, but MVP's got a lot more reps on Train. Tyler's played Train like four times or something like that, or maybe not even four times. MVP plays Train all the time, mate. Sometimes they even pick it. Fair enough. They're going to be a lot more comfortable on a map like that, despite the fact that they did lose it. Regardless, still a whole other half of Counter-Strike to be played before we even get to that point. MVP just storming it up. It was 13-2. You said it was 12-3. Forget about it. Look, we I went remember. into the Mr. Round. You <laughs> threw me under the bus, but I was right. <laughs> now it's your turn to get under the bus. Hope you get run over. Joke's on you. I took the bus here. I... Grew up in the bus. I don't know. What's that bane quote? Regardless, MVP are down a man. You were molded. I was <laughs> molded by it. I don't know if I want to talk about mold and public buses, but look at this. <laughs> uh, somebody's like, okay, well, Zion's in mid-window. Bigger fish to fry or whatever you say. Uh, <laughs> if he dies to Zion I here, feel oh, like no. he saw Zion in window and then forgot about him. And then like, oh, Hang crap. On. <laughs> he's still, he's still there. <laughs> All right, that's worked out okay, though, for Ty Lu, but Summer does actually go down on A, and, and now MVP are going to be able to get a bomb down. No one here for Ty Lu. They're scrambling to get in position. Is, did Summer have a kit? I think he... Maybe? I don't... Maybe not. Oh, Ty Lu, they don't have a kit. Oh, there it is. It's on the ground. Uh, well, some shots need to be hit by MVP here if it's going to be even a close enough situation for the kit to matter. Zeta, Ooh. he's got the P250. Oh, it takes oh. his three shots. There's one, two! And all we need now is one more. Ben Tet's on his own. Look at him go. Doesn't have the kid actually in his possession. And Zeta is just chilling. He has actually called the bluff. Ben Tet's made noise. Zeta's backing away into Palace. Knows that he's got the... Oh. Oh. Zeta gets the ace. 4K from Zeta. This no, it's man five. So it's five. Oh, five. oh, my God. He's amazing for MVP right now. The orping from Ticket and Triple when those A executes were coming in. The man's just hitting every shot and then... Ace in the pistol round when they're at a disadvantage. That round was a mess. There were memes. There were big plays. But at the end of the day, 14-2 for MVP. Tyloo's going to try and force buy here. They're not going to have a clean buy unless they pull off some absolute BS with these pistols and scouts and SMGs. I can't not just it. in this round, but in rounds following that as well. Honestly, I don't want it to happen. I want to go on to train. Like, let's just get this map over and done with Tyloo. You're not coming back from a 214. I'm just saying it. But maybe they out. can start to build up some momentum, get start yeah. hitting their shots a bit more, then yeah. heading into trade. Look, that that is definitely a fair point. 
you don't want to go in like out of 16 2 into the final map in the series. But but you have to even say like MVP, right? They barely like lost that last map. They should have won it. Oh my god, one for one. Should be right. Still pretty good for MVP. Only the one player actually on the bomb site right now, although the rotation does come across quickly from Excure, but how much of an impact is he going to have now that Zeph in particular is close, jumping around with a Mac 10, almost gets the 180, and it stacks into 1v2. If he gets summer here, the next player's low, but he does actually fall to summer. Could have been very doable for stacks. Put summer on literally one HP and somebody was on 10. This is a replay of the pistol. Oh, this was so crisp from Zeta. Not enough to win than the map, which you traditionally would have thought that it was. It's uh, forced by from MVP though. Scout out for stacks, could be dangerous. Or straight back into it on the side of MVP. Yeah. Deagle's armor, scout, Mac 10. These are weapons. They're not good weapons. Oh, well. But they're weapons. Yeah, Ty Lu, very passive. Don't want to be taking any chances at this point. Don't want to be losing any guns. CT economy is very fickle. Very slow paced stuff. No peaks coming out from Ty Lu. BP, they have a bit of mid control, but that's about it. Rush into con, sets up attacker to pick Zahn. There's the man advantage for Tyloo. Very low risk play, does bear fruit. Stacks even cops a nade from Bentet. Another flash into middle for Tyloo to check out what's going on. Oh, hang on. Seth gets the kill with a Mac 10. Obviously cost him a lot of HP, but we are back to the 4v4. All it takes is another nice shot from MVP. They've got the numbers advantage, and then from there, where do we go? But nice shot from Excurit. Gets his counterpart, the scout on scout action. It will go the way of the CT side, but HSK has got an M4 here. Going to walk into the crosshair of attacker. The round quite easily cleaned up by Tyloo in the end. And MVP are going to have to save this time. So, more room to work with from Tyloo. Pretty nice shot from Excurate, and pretty clean closing out of that round. Good patience from Tyloo. They're just taking their time, working their way back into this game. We want to see a nice clean round from the lads, closing this round in particular out, so that they can uh, not have a horrendous economy on the comeback. It could happen. Look, Mirage is a, is a map that Tyloo have played since literally the beginning of time. Yeah, look, I mean, I said and it's not CT going to... And is where they get their work done, Jordan. Yeah, that's true. I said it wasn't going to. It could still. Can't forget that. Yeah. And somebody. Look, this is not the first time you're going to see this man push through B apartments. Mm. He's a psychopath. It's going to have to be a comeback of epic proportions, though. Yeah. It's like... You know what? I'm not going to say that because it's uh, <laughs> going to spoil end game for someone, and I'm sure someone is going to get mad. Look at somebody. He runs all the way through B apartments and comes back to A and just is up on stairs now, ready for MVP to come out A. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. Look at him go. So, nine to go to equalize. Long I'm road actually, ahead. I'm going to run a count, Jordan. Okay. I'm running as somebody pushing B apartments count. Okay. That's one. Fair enough. How many, what's your bet? What's your prediction? How many what, times five. do you push and be a part of five? I'm saying five. Five? Well, the All thing right. is, like, I guess it depends on how long this map goes. If we get up to, like, 15 15 or something, then Let's I think. Let's say like, if they complete the comeback, how many times do you I'm push saying five. Apart? If they can complete the comeback, it's going to be five. I'm going to say, like, ten. <laughs> okay, so every round. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it hasn't been every round. I don't mean from that point. That's already one. I'm saying nine more times. Nine more times. Well, that still is pretty much every round. <laughs> Okay, maybe that's a bit too much. I'm going to say seven in total. Yeah, see, now I've, I've pulled you back. Should have helped me to it. Yeah. Okay. Slow pace for MVP. Emphasis on middle. They're going to take their time. Extra, he's ready. He's waiting. As soon as MVP show a little bit of a shoulder in towards connector, he'll shoot them. But smoke onto top con, he won't get the opportunity to line up a shot there. He's going to throw his Molotov into the bottom of the con. Slow them down from taking that part of the map. So instead, Steph goes into window, and the rest of MVP 
They're going to take control of ladder and potentially back to B, I'm thinking. Ventet has seen HSK. The jig might be up. Zeta, though, does get Excure it. Excure it. Who was the Orper, actually? Def hasn't Ooh. ever been discovered in window. But look at this, somebody does make the play. Pushes straight up onto short and Zeph doesn't actually land the jump. All of a sudden, it's fallen away for MVP. They had it on a silver platter. And he might just get a couple more there. Is one and two. Yes. Bang, bang. Okay, from somebody. Two headshots. And you have to say, since Excure took the reins as IGL of this Tyloo squad, like Blair was saying a lot, Bentets looked like the best player. I don't think that. Somebody's been crazy, mate. Particularly in this stage of the Pro League, I feel like every map he's been popping off. Well, the thing is, like any of these players for Tyloo on their day can be the best player in the roster. But that somebody's been the best player. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying. Somebody's the best, in general. Best player in the world. Uh, bit of a stretch. I mean, I guess to be fair, somebody is the best player. <laughs> But it may not be this somebody. There you go. It's not a lie. It is not. Zion almost makes it interesting. If he gets two there. But attacker is going to keep it alive. Seven's up for Tyloo. The slow march continues. How long does it last, though? MVP have got the max losers around bonus now. Yep. They are indeed the losers in some sense of the word. But they are winning overall. Due to losing so much, they will get a lot of money. It's not usually how it works in life, but whatever. We'll let it slide this time around. The key point to talk about is that I don't think MVP's had full utility in any of these T rounds yet. They've had decent utility for the most part, but now already at this 14-7 scoreline begins what is going to be MVP being able to run literally any tactic that they want because they have so much money and having many times to make mistakes like that. Yeah, I still... mean, you're not going to get away with that against Xcurit. Uh, that's some pretty big man advantages for Tyloo. It doesn't really feel like they've been tested yet on this CT side. No. Nice grenade through attacker. If he spams that smoke, he probably gets there, but not aware of it. Still, you want to see Tyloo. Oh, I was going to say, you want to see Tyloo just making sure that they clean this round up pretty comfortably. <laughs> and that is probably what's going to happen. Have you been keeping count? Two. I think you're probably not quite on track for the seven. Running out of rounds, mate. I don't know. Tyloo, they're looking pretty convincing, Jordan. And what I'm saying is if they make the comeback, that's still only like, you know, nine rounds at this point. And what's scarier is that some people might say, surely you can't push B apartments and win every round that you do it. So far, so good for somebody. Think I can't push B every round and win? Watch this! Watch this! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You reckon somebody, like... You've been to China, right? Yes. The traffic's scary, right? There? Yes. In some parts? Oh, Do you reckon well, somebody's yeah. that guy that just walks across the road and holds his hand out? I don't think you do that in China. <laughs> like, it's not somehow in, it's not, it works. It's not like all the cars just swerve around him. No. <laughs> My experience with Chinese traffic was in a bus, and we were like literally the epitome of F you, I'm a bus. <laughs> we were just doing U turns on a highway. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding, man. Somebody is the bus. And everyone had to stop because we were a bus. <laughs> we were a bus. Yeah. And together I we was, were strong. I was a bus. <laughs> I was part of the bus. Tyloo were a mode of transport. They would be a train because they're on the comeback right now. Yeah, okay. I like that one. But MVP throwing a bit of a spanner in the works. They're going to quickly come towards this palace area straight out. Summer's ready. A one for one so far. Attacker's like, come on, guys. Oh, one for one for him as well. He probably needed more there. This might be the round that actually flips it for MVP. This is the first time Tyloo have been really tested on this T side. MVP, great timing. Already set up in the post plant. Good positions for them. Oh, and somebody half a second too late to get the player fading away into main. He's gotten up on top of a ticket. Where's Penteta? Uh, He's still at B. He's still at B. <laughs> He's trying to bait again. Wait, what is he doing? Scared perhaps someone is in the murder hole. But he's really wasting a lot of time here. Bentet does have the smoke for the bomb. So if somebody 
can sit on it, maybe. I don't see how else they can win this round from here. Somebody's going to get one, but the timing is just not here for Tai Lu. They're hitting some shots. Get the smoke down. Where is the smoke? They won the round, MVP. Where did the smoke go? Where, where was Ben Tet? Did he, where was Ben Tet that entire time? I don't know, like he stopped on the rotate. It seems strange. Well, 15's up for MVP, whatever the case. It was looking so good for Tai Lu until maybe, it wasn't. Maybe Ben Tet doesn't know the Chinese word for A. Yeah. Right. There's the first for MVP. Tai Lu's still with plenty of money straight into the double orb setup, and MVP going to do the same thing again. Well, last time. This time, attack is posted up from stairs. It's going to rip Zion a new one and drop the Molotov as well. So, Tai Lu, they've learnt from their mistake in the last round, and they've gotten on top of it. Unfortunately, they only have one more opportunity to make another mistake, and they need to win... Ooh, seven rounds in a row. This should be Quick math. This should be the set, the first of seven. Yeah, so just taking a quick look back at the last round on the replay, Pilly, and the smoke went to default. So it was like on the other side of the box. Right. So it was miscommunication about where yeah, the bomb was planted. I think so. Which has been a problem throughout this Which series. Which has been a, a big uh big talking point between some players Pundits. on Tyloo. Pundits. Yeah, let's say pundits. Commentators. We've got nothing better to talk about, do we? No, not really. We don't lead very interesting lives. Uh, MVP uh, running down the clock quite significantly in this round. Going some utility over towards B, which has kept Tai Lu honest in a 2-1-2 two -two setup. It's going to be attacker and summer to hold this site down. Someone doesn't have any utility to help attacker out. Attacker's the only one with flashes here, so unless x makes a move over towards jungle. Oh, that's pretty sharp from attacker. Can't get the second, though. With 13 seconds, I think it's going to be difficult to get a bomb down here for MVP. Someone's just going to spam through the smoke, and x somebody, the players with the orbs, will do the dirty work. Bomb does actually get planted for MVP, but it was a very difficult round to win for them. So we're up to nine for Tyloo. At the very least, they've salvaged the situation, right? It's not like we're going to map three with MVP having just oodles of momentum. MVP don't have the best of cash right now. <clears throat> they can get AKs and armor on all their players. Tactical pause? Yeah. What kind of tic tacs are we getting out of this round? I would probably say the budget variety. So I don't think MVP should buy into this one, but they may. Well, over on the side of Tyloo, somebody's got an AWP, so that B apps push counter is going further in your favour, Jordan, I would say. He was just sitting on the B bomb site yeah. last round, not doing anything. I'm a little sad. Yeah. Starting to run out of time. Six rounds to get, for your case, five more B apps pushes. Because you said seven. He's had two. For me, I need three out of six. I think that's more doable. Last one out the palace again. Well, that's what worked for MVP in the last couple of rounds, or two rounds ago it was. It has already started off with one and actually commits to the fight as well to get the second. It means Summer doesn't have to do a whole lot of work. Oh, the flashbang. Very nicely avoided by Summer. He'll win the round by denying the bomb plant. That's clean from Tai Lu. Win the round by denying the bomb plant. Wasn't denied, but he does get the player planting the bomb. Bomb plant plus loss bonus equals okay money. Not enough for an AWP, yep. but enough for AK's utility. But we are seeing that these low utility, very quick plays from MVP are getting heavily shut down by Tai Lu. It's another so, tack pause. Yeah. i got to assume like all the tack pauses at this point are MVPs because I'm pretty sure Tyler used all of their tack pauses in the first half. And I'm told that's correct. So any tack pause we see from here on out is MVP. There's one left for them. But you just think about that. We are, how many rounds in now? 25? We're we'll the 26. Yeah, and so we've had seven tack pauses already. That is a lot.
Yes. Keen to see what MVP is going to do here. I haven't really seen them go for much mid control so far, and when they have, Palu hasn't really contested them until the mid round where attacker or somebody else has done a good job picking them in the mid round. Well, they've just been going A over and over again. It's kind of like watching Ty lose T side. Uh, a bit of a change up now from MVP. Zef quickly under the window. And as you say, no real contest from Tyloo on middle just yet. Yeah, they're just going to use the flashes to peek in the mid round. And somebody, I don't think, what, what's the ruling here? I don't think that constitutes a push no. just yet. No, he but has maybe to get... when he makes it past the doorway in the middle. Yeah. Are we calling that a push? I'd say so. Right. Doorway, archway in the middle. Second he steps foot in there, that's another point on the board. Once he's actually in the apartments. Yeah. What happens if he pushes six times? We both win. <laughs> we both get some tiny teddies. All right, smoke on jungle, MVP straight up con. Oh, that's not a good aim deal to lose. And Summer is being spammed out at Ticket Booth right now, trying to dodge around the bullets. He does get Zef. If he spammed through the smoke there, he might as well actually clean two up. But bomb's gone down. 4v4 for the retake. This is still in a con here, and he gets the first frag on Bentet. Still in a key it. position. Somebody should be able to get him, though. Back to a 3v3, but time's starting to run out. Smoke down on the bomb. Is it deep enough for Summer here? Looks like it probably is, but he's having difficulty finding the bomb. Excurit's doing some work with this orb. I tell you what, he might just win the round for him, and he has, if they can find the bomb, which they eventually do. They're eventually. 11th on the board for Tai Lu. MVP again. Bomb plant down and 4.5k. Yeah. And this is the difference of the new money system, man. If in the old money system they would have had five plus k, they would have had stacks of cash. But now you can uh, you're only limited to a certain amount. Stacks of cash. Can't, when you get that full loss bonus, you yeah. can't get the full util. It's just not possible. You buy AK and armor, it's three point seven. You only have eight hundred left. You got to choose whether you want to go for like smoke flash flash or smoke molly or molly flash flash. You got to choose which pieces of utility you want to commit to. Yep. And you have to go glass cannon on the ult, or you can't afford it. It's an interesting dynamic. I'm keen to see how that sort of develops going forward. Maybe we'll get to see a bit more of it in this matchup if we get to a map three. There you go. Make flash flash, no mollies at all for, for MVP means flushing some of these Tai Lu players out of position. Using something like a Molotov on Connecto is not going to be an option. Using a Molotov on Van to clear out a position like that, you can't. You don't have it. You're just going to have to hard clear it. It's actually a huge factor. Molotovs in this game are extremely strong. Pete, smoke onto the top of Con as well as Window, and they're going to try to make their way out under Excurit has, I believe, jump spotted these players. Well, he's lining up the A split on the side of MVP. Mid round boost onto Bentet. I don't know if he spotted Zef going into connector there. I don't think so. Hacker's tucked in towards fire blocks, I believe. Zeta's been boosted up. Stax actually picks Bentet on the bricks. So good job from the man checking things out. Excurit now. Find an angle, but he's missed his opportunity. And Zef, look where he is. There's still two players on this bomb site that MVP have to deal with. Summer has been having a difficult time. And ticket and heal drop as well. So too does attacker Excurit, the hero of the last round, is gonna have to do it again with the AWP. Somebody is rotating through main. He's also got an AWP, so a double AWP retake, 4v2. Surely not possible for Tai Lu. Excurit opens one. Does he spot the player at Firebox? Well, it doesn't matter because there's another guy in CT spawn and somebody's on his own, 1v3. It's impossible. Surely it's impossible. He's got a smoke for the bomb. If he gets Firebox, maybe he smokes the bomb, sits the defuse, gets lucky, the flashbang goes through. Can this actually happen for Tai Lu? It looks like it might. He's kept it alive. Oh. No they've won way. another round. I don't believe it. It's cost them a lot, but they've got the money. They've got the money purely to buy back into the round. And MVP has a chance gone begging. We're at 12-5. How up. have they gone and done that? A How 2v4 he, retake. Double why is he even full spraying in that scenario? Why doesn't he just tap in different parts of the smoke? Maybe he assumed... Uh, 
I just, yeah. He could have just tapped. You don't have to full auto that one, but in pressured games like this, you're not thinking about that. Tyloo are hanging on by the skin of their teeth. MVP this time, faster out A. Utility comes across, Summer. Does let a chance go, begging HSK will open up the round. Three rounds in a row, MVP have started off with the opening frag, but Summer this time will equalize and go one better. Extra catches Zion pushing through the smoke. Starting to think this is actually doable now for Tyloo. MVP have given them too much leeway, too many opportunities. 2v3 though for MVP, still a minute 12 in the round. Possible for them. Definitely, but Orgs holding angles when you don't have any utility, unless these are going to be some good flashes to be setting each other up on the side of MVP. There's one of them. Excure, it's blind. This is the opportunity for Zeta. Won't quite take advantage of it. It's a one for one at the very least, which HSK can't take advantage of in the 1v2. 13 to 15. Well, I said it was impossible, Pili. I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to believe Tyloo can do this. Still Money's weird for MVP now. That's all right. Zeta, he's going to throw the uh, Galil actually over onto Starks. Surprising. Yeah. Considering Zeta still will have to glass cannon if he wants an AWP. I think that's what he was going for. So he will glass cannon actually. That's going to be the difference. What's the strat from MVP? Two more opportunities to be able to actually get themselves around here. Smoke over middle. And lots of players over here towards B this time for MVP. Zeta looking for anyone getting a bit aggressive in middle there. Throws the flash out. But won't be able to take any control. He goes oh. through it. Extra just kills him for free. The only time he's ever had an AWP this entire, t like, Mirage t half. It's man advantage for Tyloo. MVP, they're going to try to make their way towards the B apartment. Zeph's going to try and make something happen from underpass, but it's not looking good for them. If this goes to overtime, surely it's got to be Tyloo to finish it off. I don't know, man. Their T side was pretty abysmal, but MVP, well. they're in the running for worst T side in this map. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Into the B side. It's been something that MVP have not done too often. It's a fair bit of utility, but somebody... He starts off well. One player down. It's Zion. Dentet can't do too much from short. It doesn't really matter, though. x gets a collateral with the AWP. And only stacks left with his Galil. Don't see it happening. Pilly. 26 seconds. He's got an AK now, at least. Oh, dear. Close to being a chance there for him, but uh, Ty Lu uh, making life really difficult here for him. Bomb plant does go down. The push is going to come out here from Ty Lu. They'll encroach in on his position. He needs to open it up early, but won't. And now we're at 14-15. One more round for Ty Lu to put it into the overtime. I can't even believe we're here. It's just an absolute table turn from the first half to the second. MVP just didn't miss a shot, and now... Tai Lu are doing the exact same thing. Two unbelievable CT sides and two absolutely abysmal T sides. Now is the last opportunity for MVP to keep themselves in this series. This Imagine. should have been a freebie for them, and they're going to try and make it happen. They have had two rounds where they've had pretty good success on this A bomb site, and they're going to try and make it happen again. Attacker on top of balcony. Summer's going to be backing him up. Retake from that CT position. Well, Summer has been struggling. They're not going to check. Attacker gets two. And that might be enough to win the map for Tyloo. If they put this into the overtime, they've got the momentum. 3v2. It's still not over yet. MVP. The bomb is dropped in probably the worst possible position ever. It is, but this is the first time Zed has had an AWP and been able to do something with it. Somebody is playing shotgun AWP right next to that bomb. Oh, what is he doing? He pushes the smoke and he actually gets Zeta. Flank is coming out from Bentet. Some are very well aware that that's going to be a possibility and that his presence is known in CT. So he's going to reposition in towards jungle. Zion seems to have read this. Yeah, the closer he gets, the more advantageous this round win will be for Ty Lu. It's going to be extremely hard for Zion to read that he's going to come in from Palace and he still hasn't recovered to the bomb. Well, Zion is the kind of player that can win a round like this, but not if he's caught in the back by Bentet. We're into overtime. Can you believe it? 13-2 the first half. Yep, Jordan May is saying, 
it will never happen. <laughs> it just, I cannot. And how are you feeling about your somebody pushing the outs record now, Jordan, huh? Well, I'm still close to the We're gym. adding some rounds onto it now. Yeah. He hasn't really been pushing very much, though. No. He's been rotating to A. It's, it's ludicrous that we've gotten to this position. MVP. And, and, correct me if I'm wrong, but MVP won the second half pistol. It's a long time ago. I can't remember. Um, perhaps. Been a bit of a cooker today. Yeah. I have got a bit of a tension headache because this counter strike so intense. Hang on, I'm going back to the faithful HLTV to check. HLTV, the Church of Counter Strike. Yeah. Some people say the Cathedral of Counter Strike is a place. Uh, yeah. MVP did win the pistol round. Okay. Then Tyloo won the force. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, obviously. Oh man! You're up thirteen two. Thirteen two. Fourteen. You win two. the pistol you're round. Up fourteen two. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, we've won the map, surely. No. See you, mate. Tyloo just happened. Going overtime. That's right. I'm questioning everything right now. MVP. What is going through your mind at this point? Okay, you've come up against two situations on Dust 2. You should have won it. Get me out of here. And That's then probably Summer, it. Summer just pulls that round out of his, I don't know where from. Yep. And then this game, 14-2 lead. Yep. You've thrown it away. How do you mentally recover from that? I don't know if you do. Like, not tonight. They're taking quite a while. It's good. They need a breather. Oh, my God. But, you know, this is the kind of game that Tyloo and MVP do tend to deliver. Always yeah. high stakes. Big plays out on both sides. It's it's one of the best matches that you get to see within the Asian domestic circuit. And we're <laughs> seeing another iteration of that tonight. Whatever way this goes, if it's a 2-0 or, or if we do go through to the third, I think you have to be happy with the counter-strike that we've been able to watch tonight. It's been enjoyable. Yeah, an epic game filled with big players. Where are we going? Is it Tyloo 2 zero? MVP, you have to say that I don't know if this is 10 or 16k over time, but... 16. 16? Yeah, yeah. everything's 16. Not everything. Well, I'm pretty sure this is 16. Well... In that case, maybe there's a, a case to be made that MVP, with that new round loss bonus, they didn't have full utility a lot of those T rounds. They didn't have the AWP on setter. Yeah. He only had it like twice. One time he just ran out mid and got killed. The second time he was like one of the last left alive and he had to drop it for an AK. Well, here we go. MVP was only able to manage two on their T side, but so oh. it was Tai Lu. Somebody pushed under pass. Did we count that? I don't know if that's a... The app's push, to be honest. Oh, accurate. That's close. All right. Well, man advantage for MVP. Something that they only got a couple of times, and those were some of the most competitive-looking rounds. But they weren't able to convert them. Well, they didn't have the utility in the late round when they weren't converting them, to be fair. Ben they Tets used all out. of it to get the advantage or to get into advanced positions. Bentet, though. I mean, if he doesn't get two here, Ty oh, and he probably loses the round there. Ah, Ty Lu. Gonna get the incendiary down. Excurit on his own. He's got a P250 in hand and also no head. So this is gonna be the T side round that MVP really needs. Yeah, just, MVP. I just think getting one. Look at all the utility they're using. They would have never had this utility in regulation. They just didn't have it. They used all of it to get the map control in the first place. So now having that second wave of util to actually take the bomb side afterwards. Well, Summer and Attacker are gonna give this one a crack. A team flash goes across, which will slow things down. Stax is pretty low, but behind bench. But even if they do get him, there's just so many players to actually find. And he hasn't been checked, so he's going to be cleaned up. And attacker will be finished off quickly as well. Bit of uh, anticlimax in the round. Three through for MVP, but I think imperative now for Tyloo to get these next two. Is that already a higher success rate? That's an equal success rate in OT than they had in the entirety of regulation in the first well, round. Well, I mean, you would argue it's actually higher because, yeah. in theory, they've got 33% of the rounds that they can which they did not get anywhere near doing in regulation. I agree. It's a good point being made. 
Now MVP, fast smokes over middle. x jumps very quickly in towards ladder with the AWP trying to find a potential opening here. Oh, Ben Ted, you didn't got in your hand. x helped him out. Timing has not been a friend of Ben Ted so far. HSK jumps straight in window and actually finds x with his pants down. He's going to go in towards... The... Oh, what is this round? MVP, what are you doing? Keeping Ty Lu in with a chance, that I think is what is happening. Attacker is bunkering down in Firebox. He's chilling. What Ooh. is that? Players in jungle and connector and HSK picks Benton in towards ladder. Attacker now, finding the angle on these jungle players. There's both of them, he's locked it down. Yeah, Stax is still alive though. Not for long. God, that was a round, wasn't it? One for one. And MVP, what was that chaos? It was like the complete opposite of the previous round. The last round, they got the advantage and then just very structured, like, okay, now we will execute B with the mo yeah. correct Molotovs and Smokes. And then next round, it was just like, yeah, that was all of my brain cells used after that long overtime that I lost. And now I will resort to jump through window, <laughs> through Smokes, chaos. and run through that short. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Yep. No better word than that. Excurate just unpeaks, unscopes at the wrong time, I should say. I think every single round here is just so critical for both sides. 1-3-1 one, one set up here from Ty Lu. Hanging on. Skin of their teeth, both teams. At least Ty Lu have the map to play with. Bentet's got a good angle here. Oh, again, the timing. But he does get it this time. Ooh, and a deep. lot of damage onto HSK. Does he know? Well, yeah. he's going to know in a second. Finish it off with that uh, HE. MVP. Down a man, they do have some control of middle, but they need to somehow convert that into a round with Bentet rotating into the murder hole and minding the, the window boost, as well as attacker very strongly posted onto the top of connector. Things are getting difficult. Somebody, do it. Do it. A little bit further. Come on. Into the doorway, please. No. I don't know uh, uh, if anyone's going to take that out of context. <laughs> that sounded a bit strange. Said, uh, has actually spotted somebody, but he backs across onto the site. Needs to actually back a little bit more. Zion's found one, stacks another. Somebody with the re peek into apartments, and all of a sudden, Tyloo have a player disadvantage. The round was looking so good for them. And now it's MVPs to win. Straight back in towards this A side of the map. So Summer, if he can make it into CT on the right timing and actually stop this bomb from going down, this could still be a Tyloo round. He might just do that. Timing's looking good for him. First shot is great, and not quite the second. Five seconds is there. It's on to Ben Tet, the 1v2 clutch. Put Ty Lu into the second half of overtime with the numbers advantage. Across into the CT spawn as well. And this looks almost impossible for Ben Tet. We've impossible seen him do for this man. very crazy things before. Setup doesn't let it happen. 17 wow. for MVP. Two rounds. Two rounds on T. That's what they got in regulation time in 15. Now they've done it in three. And one of them was the pistol, which you have to say, instead of just shooting five people in the head, is that a convincing round win? I don't think that. Yeah. Wasn't a gun round, that's for sure. They oh. could have even run that last round. So, I mean... Mm. Now the onus is on Ty Lu. Ty Lu, they had a very, very bad T side in regulation. They got 13 2 It was not good. Bad, bad, not good. And with their MVP, how good they looked... On their CT side, you'd have to probably be backing them into this OT. But Ty Lu had a lot of time, a lot of thonking time yeah. to uh, come up with a solution for what went wrong on their T side. Had a lot of time to reflect. Yeah. So let's see what the... Uh, do they hit B? Do they try to take some mid control? Crazy. Or do they just default back toward A? Connector. New strategy I invented of going A, but then sometimes going B. Never heard of it. <laughs> Quite long pauses between the halves here and in between the regulation time and the overtime. So you're right, it does give the teams a lot of time to think. Or just keep practicing their aim. Does MVP have a team house? I don't I'm really so. hoping that Termi is just getting the chair slaps in there. Oh yeah? Every round. I don't know, actually. If anyone's going to have a team house in CS, it's going to be MVP. 
that. Yeah. Like MVP as an org probably already have a team house. Oh yeah, for sure. In like any other multiple game. games. Yeah, probably. Mm. Regardless, question for another time. Probably should ask one of them on Twitter because they actually do use Twitter. <sighs> okay. These days, Ty Lu. Ah, it's the A bomb site. They're gonna give it a crack. Zion and Zeta are gonna be the players. Again. In position to deal with it. How many times we saw this from Tyloo and how many times we saw it not really working out for them. Pulling it out in some of the most important rounds of Mirage. Slowed oh. down by the incendiaries. But Molly hasn't gone on to Balk on to Zion. So he's allowed to just sit there. So that is that triple as well. Oh what? no, this is going terribly for Tyloo. Yeah, it's falling apart right now on the T side. Bomb is stuck out in the site. They have to commit, but Zeta is just lining them up. HSK helping out as well. Round's over. And that was not convincing in the slightest Tyloo, for Tyloo. It, they're going A on the first gun route to give MVP match point when they've been shut down there every single time. Tyloo throw the execute in. The yep. Molotov doesn't make it under balcony, which means Zion could just sit there. And you look at it. MVP, they uh, they threw the Molotov on a ramp, which slowed Tyloo down. And then when Tyloo tried to come at a ramp, they just run into Zeta with the AWP at triple and like a million counter flashes coming out. They can't even push out a ramp and they're just losing players right and left. What do you do? Well, here's a change up from Tyloo as they establish themselves in mid. A bit of presence toward B there as well. Somebody throwing utility in that part of the map and the rotation maybe pulled from HSK. He's feeling a little bit fidgety. I want to be losing at this point. No. But if I'm going to be relying on anyone to hold down that people on site, I think Stax is a pretty good bet. Somebody's actually got the bomb on his back. And uh, he's sitting in the smoke. Like, if he just gets sprayed down, that's the bomb lost. Ty Lu with two players on cat. Maybe potentially thinking about turning this into a B push. First, they're going to smoke the top of connector and potentially set one of their players up in that part of the map. Molly in the window. Does very much look like they're winding up a beast, but here at Summer makes his way over. Extra it wants to boost. Ben Ted up, that's right. So they have control of connector, they have a player ready to jump into window and one player in ladder room. Oh, ben Ted just gets the timing wrong. I think he got caught on the jump there. Well, Ty Lu, 44 seconds, what are you gonna do? Attacker opens up nicely, but Stax is the man on this B bomb site that has been such a thorn in the side of Ty Lu. This time he'll drop. Bomb goes down in a pretty bad position though. HSK could well cover it off, but some are just pushing on forward. Will retrieve, and gets across, planning safe. And it's still in middle though, and he could punish Zion. But Zion's seen him here. Oh, oh he excellent punishes. work. Finds the, the angle from Catwalk. That makes this retake so much more doable, but execute it at the pillar. Does he know that Zion is pushing behind him right now? He's not even looking. The flashbangs come through. Now he turns around. Now this is the shot that might win the game. Well, the round at least for MVP. Summer 1v2 being pushed on both sides and that'll be it. MVP are going to push us through to a third map. It took a lot longer than it should have. I will say that. They were from, up from 14, 14 